food is definitely more important. And then let's go peeper, boomerang, boomerang, eat, 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 that's up to 100, it also gave us some more water so that's cool, uh, some glass, now all we need is copper, so... I don't remember where that titanium was. Oh well. There's quartz there. Don't need quartz. Looking for some more limestone. This game is just so gorgeous looking. And it's just... It gets better and better with each update. It is amazing. Like, this... This is... This is a game that we've been waiting for. And if you haven't been waiting for a game like this, then I don't know what your taste is in games. <laughs> but they're not good. Uh, oh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, anyway. But yeah, this this is a survival game. And it is amazing. It's kind of, It doesn't take itself too seriously, which I like. It's not too realistic, that kind of thing. But at the same time, you know, it, it, it's kind of hyper-realistic, I guess would be the word, because it's very colorful and everything but you know, it's futuristic and that kind of thing but so cool so cool I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab myself a peeper and then get more food god dang it peeper get back here I'm just gonna keep clicking till I get him there we go got him aha we need four now that we have found some water or food, water. I don't know. There's some water from the air sacs. I, I don't know. I guess that was my train of thought. <coughs> Sorry about that. Sea moth fragment. So you only need one fragment, but more fragments make it easier to research. Oh my god. It is getting kind of laggy here. Um. And it's very strange because it wasn't doing this to me earlier. So I don't know why it's doing this now. Okay, and then I want to stock up. Like, I want to have a. I saw more salt over here, so I'm trying to get another fish. If I can have a back, you know, like. If I can have. Nope, okay. I keep trying to say. If I could have bunch of fish that I can eat. That'd be fantastic. I still have yet to find copper. I just am not seeing it. I could be blind. I keep dropping my titanium and I'm going to run out of titanium if I keep doing that. Uh, there's more salt there. So now the salt is coming in. Like It's everywhere now. But I don't want to take all of it yet. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Got the peeper. Turn the air sac into water. More peeper. Some Gary fish. Boomerang fish. And our sea glide is almost dead. Interesting. How does one charge it? Oh, there's storage right here. Oh, and there's stuff in it. There's a rebreather. I never knew about this. Oh my god. I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, yeah, excuse me, there is uh, stuff in your storage. But <laughs> I don't know why I went with that voice. <laughs> god, that was dumb. Okay, I'm going to eat you. I'm going to drink you. Uh, I'm going to take you because I need you. Rebreather is awesome because I'm going to put him. Oops. What was that that was on three? Okay. So rebreather will help me breathe better in the deeper part of 
things. So we gotta remember there's a power cell and a computer chip and some silver in here as well. That is very nice. Um, actually, we need three of those, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, okay, so all we need is copper. I didn't know that there was storage there. Little peepers. Um, trying to see. I might just have to dump this eventually, I and mean, it's gonna make me really sad, but if I can dump it close to the skate pod, then I don't have to waste it, because eventually I'll figure out how we can charge it. Um, or salt. Uh, what else we got? Quartz everywhere. I'm just seeing quartz everywhere. You know, this is really strange because, like, I mean, it kind of show goes to show you that it's completely procedurally generated because my last world that I generated, there were limestone deposits everywhere. And in this one, there's hardly any, but there's quartz everywhere. Quartz was a little harder to find last time. Quartz and salt. And then this one, salt and quartz are everywhere. I mean, now we're finding it everywhere. Aha! Here we go. These big tubes have a lot of limestone in it. At least that's what I've come to find out. There's salt in here, too. I have to remember what this place is, because we'll need that salt eventually. Just keep going at this until we're full. Maybe not. Grab the salt while we're here, too. So if I go four, that's my world. Um, I guess it's just something we can hold on to. I don't think it's something <laughs> that was very strange. I don't think we need to like equip it, so I might take it off of. Yeah, I don't think I need to put it on a quick slot, so I got rid of it. Oh yeah, you can hear it. It's nice. I just realized we're we're rebreathing, so we're not using our oxygen as fast anymore. recycling most of it um, we need to go out to our builder where is he there it is and we're gonna get our sea moths for our very first submarine this submarine is uh, a little small oh, god it's loud Here we are. It's just a little personal submarine, the sea moth. Park him right over there, because we don't need to. Uh, what's next? Um, I don't know what's next. Let me see what time it is. How long have I been recording? Okay, so, uh... That's gonna be it for this session, guys. I think we did a pretty good, uh... Pretty good chunk. We got to a pretty good stopping point and everything. Um... This, I think, next time I'm gonna start off by going on an adventure with our Seamoth here. It's really cool. I mean, you saw it drive a little bit. Um, it has a health and, an, and a power, so I don't want to waste it right now. But yeah, so leave a like and comment, share this with your friends and everything like that as usual. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Bye.